Hi, now let us talk about a very important problem in our distributed network that is Byzantine's general problem. Now in a Byzantine general's problem, uh, let us understand this with the help of a story. Okay, this is very important problem. You must understand this problem. So this is our Byzantine kingdom. Okay, a beautiful Byzantine kingdom. And there are four army generals of some different kingdom okay and these are our, like these four army generals belong to the same kingdom and they want to attack on this byzantine okay they want to attack on this byzantine they want to take over this kingdom now in order to attack on this byzantine and in order to win this kingdom because byzantine definitely will also have its army right so in order to win from byzantine they need to be attacking at the same time means majority of these generals need to attack at the same time in order to win over byzantine okay and we are uh, we are assuming that we are assuming that all these army generals are at different locations so let's say this army general with its army at is at north this is at south west and east okay so all these army generals with their army are at different uh, location now definitely since they have to attack at the same time they need to communicate with each other right then only they can attack at the same time when they have the information that okay this army general is going to attack now we can also planning of let's plan to attack right so they need to communicate with each other but the problem is that they are at different places so what they will do so they will send their messenger saying that whether to attack at this point of time and or whether not to attack at this point of time so let's say this army general okay send this information to the other rest of the army generals that okay this is the best time to attack on byzantine i think this is the best time let us attack on byzantine now the same thing will be done by the rest of the army generals they will also send their messengers they, now this army general has sent this information okay this is the best time let us attack on byzantine uh byzantine uh byzantine kingdom okay other kingdoms will also like other kingdoms not other kingdoms other army generals will also send this information and this army general will also send this information via their messenger that okay let us attack on byzantine and this is an ideal situation and if this will happen then definitely they will win byzantine kingdom because now they are attacking at the same time majority of them are attacking at the same time too, so definitely they are going to win byzantine kingdom right but what will happen if one of these if one of these army generals is a traitor right this can also happen that this is a traitor now this is, will be a problematic situation why because this traitor traitor will give wrong information right so let's say that all these army generals are saying that to attack is the best like this is the best time to attack on present time because they will win over present time if they will attack at the same time at this particular time but this since this army general is a traitor he is sending false information to the rest of the generals that okay now this is not the best time to attack let's not attack at this point of time because he's a traitor even though this is the best time to attack he will say that do not let's do not attack at this point of time so what will happen in this case now in this case these army generals will go for the majority of the votes okay so this army general will see that okay what is in majority to attack or not to attack and he will see that okay this army general is saying to attack this army general is saying to attack so and this is the only army general who is saying that this is not the best time to attack so definitely he will go with these two army generals in the same way he will also see that okay this is saying to attack this is saying to attack but this is saying not to attack so let's go with these two people since these two people are in majority in the same way he will see that these two people are in majority and they will attack and they will win over byzantine once again now why i am telling you this story because this story is if you will relate it to our distributed network where distributed network are present at different location and they need to verify a particular set of information now in order to verify a particular set of information these distributed system depends on the majority and same goes for our blockchain network blockchain network is also a distributed p2p network right we have also seen in our we have seen in our previous video right so uh, in a distributed p2p network definitely there can be some traitors there can be some hackers who will send you some wrong information 
So in that case, our distributed P2P network totally depends upon the majority. If the majority of the people are saying something, we are going to assume that that is correct. If majority are saying something that that like majority are saying that, okay, this is not a correct information. We are going to assume that this is the correct means we are going to assume that the uh, majority is correct in this regard also. So this is how distributed P2P network works. But now definitely there is one problem. Now you must be having this question in your mind. What if, if majority of the people are hackers, what will happen in that case? Like in this case, definitely, uh, if you will see three fourths of the people, that is 75% of the people are correct, right? 75% of the people are the right people. But only one fourth means this traitor is the person who was sending some wrong information. So in this, in this case, this is correct. But what will happen if 50% are seeing something and 50% are seeing something? What will happen in that case? In that case, your distributed system will fail. Yes, this is the truth. Your distributed system will fail. But the probability of happening that is very low. The probability of happening that is very low because just uh, just use your common sense right here that how there can be 50% hackers, right? How let, let's say if there are lakhs of people connected in a blockchain network, how there can be 50,000 hackers. This is not a possibility, right? Only I think 10,000 of the people will be hackers or let's say 1,000 people will be hackers, right? We, we cannot see, we cannot say that 50,000 people can be hackers because the probability of having is low. Definitely they, they, it can happen in future, but the probability is of happening is, is very low, right? So now I hope you understand what is Byzantine General's problem, right? In correspondence to our distributed computing, where distributed computers, distributed computers are all over the network. So in order to verify and validate a particular information, they need to depend upon the majority. Okay. And this is the only solution to our Byzantine General's problem. So I hope you liked this video. If you have liked this video, please click on that like button. If you haven't subscribed to this channel yet, please subscribe to this channel because I'm regularly going to upload new and latest courses on blockchain if you want to connect with me on instagram this is my instagram id you can directly connect with me and in the description of this video you will find discord blockchain developer community link where which you can join in order to solve your doubts in order to communicate with other blockchain developers in order to form network and if you have any other doubts regarding this video please comment below i will be happy to solve them meet you soon in the next video bye bye